Hey guys, uh, Rob here, uh, McDonough Coaching for all things physio, personal training, nutrition and habit forming. Um, so a friend of mine asked me to do a video on nutrition, so uh, specifically weight loss, so here it is. Um, so we're going to go to the, the basics. So weight loss is essentially, the key thing to weight loss is a calorie deficit. So eat less than what you're burning, simple as that. I could just finish right here and not say anything else because uh, that's it. So you could, you, you can, uh, you could lose weight eating a, a McDonald's diet. If you're eating less calories than what you were burning, you would learn, you would lose weight. Uh, so you've got, for women, it's about an average about 2000 calories a day. For men, it's about 2500. That will vary between uh, size and levels of activity. Uh, what what you need um but yeah calorie deficit there is no exercises specifically that are going to help with weight loss there are certain exercises that burn more calories so per minute sprinting is probably where you basically any exercise where you move your body as quickly as possible sprinting per minute is going to burn more calories probably than any other exercise uh kettlebells of swings are good uh they burn a lot of calories uh, but yeah, just eat less, move more. Um, and then specific diets out there, uh, whether it's Atkins or like a low carb, keto, whatever bollocks you're fucking following, uh, excuse my language. Uh, the best diet out there is to follow a whole plant-based, whole grain, non-processed diet, which I've mentioned before in another video. Uh, Studies to show, because I'm all evidence-based, this is what the studies say. Studies say it's calorie deficit. Studies say that this is the best diet to eat. Um, you're, it's harder to overeat if you're on a plant-based, whole grain diet, non-processed as well. Um, things, so if you, so plant-based are the, are less calories per volume. So the, the size of a, 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 a the size and the weight of a salad to the same weight of chicken, uh, the volume of the salad is going to be a lot larger. So your but your your stomach is going to get fuller with less calories, and you have these stretch receptors in your stomach that tells your brain that oh I'm full, even though you've ate less calories. Whereas, yeah. So, um, if you eat so. A lot of diets would be like low carb, high protein. High protein does protein does make you feel fuller than carbohydrates. And um, so again, if you're going plant based, look for things like beans, soya, nuts, and seeds. They'll make you feel fuller. But you do need carbs for energy, so I wouldn't advise cutting out carbs completely. And um, that's where you're getting your whole grains, your brown rice, whole grain pasta, uh, whole grain breads, things like that. Um, but yeah, eating more protein if. If you're very active, you need more carbs. If you're a lazy bastard, you're going to need less carbs. Yeah. So if all you do is sit in the couch all day, you're not going to be burning a whole, a whole lot of calories. You're probably not going to need a whole lot of carbohydrates. Um, so all this information is freely available. So why aren't we, why, why are people still overweight? It's because it's basically habits. So if you look at habits, so what I would suggest is you could these, again, evidence-based, if, if you write down what you normally have in a day, so say you're, for example, I don't know, you have a chocolate bar, so you have a bar, note how you feel before you have your bar, oh, well, why are you eating chocolate instead of eating an apple? Well, I felt stressed or sad or lonely or upset, and then I ate a chocolate bar, and then afterwards, so you got your cue is your stress, um, your... Uh, response is your chocolate bar and your reward uh, your reward is feeling satisfied or whatever it is so obviously you need to change that habit so the best thing the best thing for you to do is not it's just replacing one habit with another so you're if you're eating a chocolate bar maybe you can change the chocolate bar to a uh, dark chocolate which is probably gonna it's more rich so you probably end up eating less and then slowly changing that chocolate bar to uh, a, a healthy granola bar or nut bar or some healthier bar um, 
same if you were drinking Coca-Cola, trying to swap that for Diet Coke and then swapping that for uh, maybe sparkling water um, and things like this. But again, looking at the habits. So, and again, if, I mean, it's easy. There's loads of recipes out there. It's about meal prep um, having a shopping list, not going to the supermarket when you're hungry um, ideally getting rid of all your junk food in your house, give it a food bank or something like that and then replacing all these foods because if you if I have chocolate in the house if I have biscuits in the house I'm gonna eat them if I have healthy snacks in the house and no biscuits I'll eat the healthy snacks um, and again I have some sweets in my house for my kid but again I'm not gonna be eating those all right I'm gonna leave it at that any questions comments comment below share like suggest another video you've got I don't know you've got sore back or sciatic air or you got rotator cuff problems whatever it might be uh, ping a comment or or Facebook, Instagram, whatever me, and I'll uh, I'll do a video for you. All right, go. Cool.